One morning, the children are dressed and ready for school. But, there is no food for them to eat. All the plates, cups, and bowls on the table were empty. There was no food in the larder and no money to buy food. The house mother of the orphanage informed George Muller, the founder of the orphanage. Muller asked her to take the 300 children into the dining room and have them sit at the tables. Muller said, Children, you know we must be on time for school. Then he lifting up his hands and prayed. Dear Father, we thank thee for what thou art going to give us to eat. And then they thanked God for the food and waited. Muller knew God would provide food for the children as he always did. Within minutes, there was a knock at the door. The baker stood there and said, Mr. Muller, I couldn't sleep last night. Somehow I felt you didn't have bread for breakfast, and God wanted me to send you some. So, I got up at 2 a.m., baked some fresh bread, and brought it to you. Mr. Muller thanked the baker, and after he left, there was a second knock at the door. It was the milkman. He talked that his milk cart had broken down right in front of the orphanage. He would like to give the children ten large cans of fresh milk, so he could empty his milk cart and repair it. It was just enough for the 300 thirsty children. George Muller was a Christian missionary evangelist and a coordinator of orphanages in Bristol, England. Through his faith and prayers, he had the privilege of caring for over 120,000 orphan children. In his journals, Muller recorded miracle after miracle of God's provision and answered prayer. Muller raised each and every penny for this wonderful ministry on his knees, through unceasing, persistent, thankful prayer and an unwavering faith in God. Almost 200 years later, the George Muller Charitable Trust in Bristol still operates today and continues to adhere to George's commitment to seeking money only through prayer. Faith does not operate in the realm of the possible. There is no glory for God in that which is humanly possible. Faith begins where man's power ends. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus.